Hello Leos, what's going on? It's Prado G and I am here with the general collective reading for your sign. I'm so thankful and grateful that you decided to show up here today. If you are here for the first time, welcome new Leos. And if you are returning, then welcome back. If your birthday is between July 22nd and August 22nd, then you are are a lovely Leo. And this reading is for you. Take whatever resonates and leave behind what does not resonate with you uh, for another Leo, okay? If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, sun, moon, and rising Leos, this may resonate with you on some level. So yes, let's see what shows up. We're not going to waste too much time. You guys are the first Sign today to get two numbers, 64. Whoever was born in uh, 1964, shout out to you. Uh, if you are 64 years old and you're watching this, huge shout out to you. Uh, if your birthday is between August 6th or um, August 4th, if your birthday is August 6th or August 4th, huge shout out to you as well. Six plus four equals 10. I'm thinking of a major transformation taking place that's going to improve your life and bring you some rewards. Restoring harmony and balance into your life. Stability and order coming back into fruition. That could be what is on the minds of my Leos right now. So being in tune with your heart chakra and aligning that crown chakra together so that your thoughts are of love coming from the heart. That's what I'm getting right now for my Leos. Make sure that you are coming from the heart. That is definitely going to help you improve any sort of um, experience that you're going through right now if you are looking for improvement. And I mean, aren't we always looking for things to improve even when things are going good? We want them to be better, right? <clears throat> so yeah. Also, in terms of healing, uh, make sure that you are uh, staying stable and keeping those thoughts in order. That's what I want to say, like, because you are building a foundation, you are planting seeds and you know, the seeds that you plant are the foundation of the crop that you are going to sprout about. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm really getting here for my lovely Leo so far. Let's see what the basis of this reading is going to be about for Leos. We got forgiveness. Wow. So there's a need for you to forgive somebody or something, maybe even yourself, somebody that you might have had a child with or someone that did you wrong when you were a child, when you were young, when you felt like you couldn't stand up for yourself. There's a need for forgiveness here, though, because you could be very despondent or like really unhappy with the way that life is going for you, kind of in a depressed state where the spirit is very low, right? And that's coming because that's coming from this lack of forgiveness going on. You might feel like somebody won't forgive you either. Um, and this is just a past energy, but I feel like you got to stay stable with that throughout this time. And forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself, right? When you forgive, it's like you're letting go so that you can feel better and that you're not holding anyone else guilty and keeping energetic blockages within yourself. And then we have the vanity card. So yeah, you want more, more, more. That's what I'm getting here from this card. I want more, I want more, I want more. But sometimes, you know, more can be less um, because the more that you have, the the less you feel valuable within your own self at times because you put all of your energy and value into the material things in life. And what I see here is like a group of people who are just look, they look like they're well accomplished. This woman has a dress um, that's red. It looked like they went to an outing or something like that. You might have been networking with some people um, or you might be networking with people up in the future, but make sure that you are not allowing vain energies to get in the way of your progression moving forward. I do see confusion showing up at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So I think things are clearing up for you. If things have been very cloudy, things are going to clear up for you very soon. And you're going to realize that sometimes um, what it is that you are asking for is not really what you're ready for or is not what you truly want. And you don't realize it until you get it. But I want to read on this card. This says, I need more, bigger, better. Yes, that will make me okay. So for some of my Leos, I feel like that's the case for you. It's like you just want things to improve and you want more, you want better. And you feel like that's what's going to make you okay. But honestly, the forgiveness is what's going to make you feel better off the rip. Forgiving yourself for not achieving the things that you think you should have achieved by the age that you are at now. Or just not having what everybody else has. You know, it's okay. Like... Don't beat up on yourself for that. And forgive the people that make you feel bad for not having certain things. That's what I feel as well with this card showing up. So Crystal, Peter, and Mike are at a party and pop... Oh, I think one of my dogs farted. Oh, my God. Why did it... Anyways. Okay. 
I'm so sorry, y'all. I really like have to laugh this off so that I don't get mad. But they keep they always sitting right up under me farting. <sighs> Let me get this out. <sighs> okay. Crystal, Peter, and Mike are at a party and Mike posh home toasting success in their business a mysterious old man appears and asks them whether they prefer gluttony or generosity so gluttony is just when you're being greedy you have a surplus of something you have way more than what you need and um you know you don't want to share it it's like somebody that got um uh, five burgers on their plate and you ask them for one and they get an attitude like what no like girl joe it's giving very much gluttony child, child please watch out um share Share. You can't take on all that. And if you do, then it's going to be unhealthy. But anyways, this says um, the old man popped up and asked them would they prefer gluttony or generosity. Puzzled, none of them answers. He reminds them that more does not mean better. And they laugh. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. Suddenly, they are all alone, far from the party and rising water. We're getting more, cries Peter. Rain falls from the water. I mean, rain falls and the water rises faster. Play, shouts Crystal. We must do well with what we have. As they begin to have fun in the water, the rain stops. Mmm. You, oh, we all say we will stop when we have enough, but there's never enough. You may be looking outside yourself for validation. Am I feeling disconnected from any people in my life? That's the question to ask yourself, Leo. Like, are you feeling disconnected from the people that's in your life? And are you growing away from limiting relationships? That's the true question. The ideas that are tied to this card, though, are environmental tension, living in illusion. So it's like tension in the environment somewhere for you. Or you might be living in the illusion of thinking that you need to have more, more, more to feel more valuable, right? But it's about loving yourself more. The more you love yourself, the more valuable you feel. The more you take that time to stop doubting yourself and believing yourself, um, you create power to truly change. And, you know, you just got to get rid of the lesser companions, the people that make you feel lesser, um, people that you are tied to, um, people who are vain. Like I said, they're just tied to material things and success like that or empty conversations. It's like, I want to have more fulfilling conversations here, not just about money all the time. But yo, just have faith and awareness that things are transforming for you right now. My lovely, lovely, lovely Leo. So we're going to get into the tarot now. Let's see what's showing up here for my Leos. What, do, what is my Leos forgiving right now? What is forgiveness about for Leos? Spirit, please clarify forgiveness. Oh, this tower moment. Wow, this is a, a major life change for somebody. Things could have came crashing down for you in the past or you realized something about someone. It could have been um, someone who built up a story or like, yeah, look at these. I think of stories, right? Like somebody who built up a bunch of freaking stories and lied to you about something and that tower came crashing down. But it, what it did was set you free and it allowed you to immerse yourself into your emotions. As you can see in this car, this house is on fire. This tower is on fire. It's like it's being burnt down. Like these lies are being burnt down. It's coming down. And as things come down... um, and it's a bunch of water here. It's like you're going to be immersed into these emotions that you're going to have to deal with. And these emotions look really wild. So I feel like for somebody, that's what could have happened. This tower moment could have sent you into an emotional uproar. And this is what you are in need of forgiving. It could have been tied. Uh, oh, King of Wands. This is definitely giving your energy since you are fire sign Leos. This is about a leadership position for you where you were like a leader, either a public speaker or somebody who just was in the spotlight um, or you were on top of your game with the King of Wands. That's what I get here. Somebody who's really on top of their game creatively. But there could have been a major tower moment or transformation, life change that took place. And it could have been involving you and someone else. It could have been a Sagittarius too. You could have been in partnership with the Sagittarius or another fire sign. Or this could be your father figure as well. But look, the Eight of Cups is like you're walking away from what no longer serves you. This tower moment came crashing down, but you got to keep moving forward. 
You do. This is like a rite of passage. Yes, things could have been very dark, but what's going to get you through this time and keep you flowing is forgiveness. And you're looking for something that's fulfilling you, that's going to actually fulfill you so much more emotionally. So you got to move forward. There is happier things, greater uh, wishes for you out there in the world other than where you have come from. It's like moving along. Now we got 8-8. Eight, eight showing up. The Eight of Pentacles came out next. You are called to be working, working right now, focusing on your work, focusing on what is going to what really what this is, this Eight of Pentacles is about somebody being working, working and focusing on the details. Paying attention to the details of the work that you are doing and learning all that you need to learn. You have learned a lot. You have established a lot here with the Seven of Pentacles. You have invested a lot of time into your work and you are going to reap the benefits of it. It's like somebody could be moving. I feel like you are single. Some Somebody is really single. It's like you could have been in a relationship with someone, right? You see two people here. I feel like y'all could have been in... Um, in, in house together, like y'all live together and then something just happened. Like the house just got really heated or something got exposed and it came crashing down. Some truth was revealed and it's like, I got to move on and I can't hold on to this anymore with this eight of cups energy. I'm just going to leave behind all of this emotional baggage, all of this past energy that I've been through and I'm going to forgive and I'm going to rest up and I'm going to be gentle with myself and I'm going to focus on my work and I'm going to get the job done. The emperor in reverse though makes me feel like somebody is a little bit domineering or just not believing in their capabilities here to continue on alone. The death card shows up. Yes, it's time for vanity to die in your life. There's time for a major transition. This is another thing too. I feel like this is a beautiful metamorphosis for some people. It's like where you come from being a certain aspect of yourself into this more pure version of yourself. This death card is just all about transformation. And it's like the Knight of Cups. I feel like what happened for some of y'all is that you allowed yourself to become this new Knight of Cups, this person who is very attractive, very uh, romantic, very loving. This could be somebody that you attracted into your life too. I feel like for some people, this person could be um, who helped you transform and go through this, this ego death. Because when I see death, when I think of the death card, I just really think of... Um, transformation really it's just like a major transformation taking place and it's like this work that you are doing right now this forgiveness that you're putting your your energy you like you're forgiving people but you're working it's like you're just doing what you need to do and it's transitioning you into a newer person it's like the skeletons are out the skeletons are out and it's <clears throat> it's time for you to move on it's time for you to move on Then we got the high priestess. Wow. So this could be about somebody who, this could be some sort of wisdom coming into you from someone from the spirit realm. Somebody that died that you know could be trying to contact you and reach out to you with this high priestess card is really calling you to be still and be patient and listen to your internal wisdom. Follow your intuition. All right. With this high priestess, there's some sort of um, revelations, something that was really revealed about yourself and your own abilities. Like either you realized how psychic you were or like you knew that something was going on or you're more on point now with your intuition and like you're picking up on the subtleties of people's shenanigans or spirit just trying to reach out to you and let you know certain things. Let's clarify this tower, the seven of swords. Yep. Somebody was being really slicky, slicky and tricky around here. Look at this, the tower and the seven of swords showing up together. This is like somebody got exposed. It's like you were exposed for being a liar. Somebody was trying to take everything or they were withholding some sort of information from you. And it's like, no, I, this had to be exposed. It had to happen. It really did. It's like, what's the point of being around, being in a relationship and connection with the sneaks? I feel like they stabbed you in the back too. It's like they could have been withholding information, which eventually caused you to feel like you were stabbed in the back or you were left for dead somewhere. For some of my Leos, 
But it's all about honesty. Yup, look at that. The Three of Swords jumped out. It was a major heartbreak. Somebody really just was really going through it. And this is why you are forgiving right now. This is why it's so vital for you to forgive because your heart is on the line. This was something that you really cared about a lot. And the Three of Swords lets me know that it's, it's bothering your mental. It's bothering your mentality. It's like hard for you to let go of this sorrow and sadness. It's hard for some people to walk away, but it's like you're doing it. But as you walk away, you must forgive. Because I feel like there's still a hard time. You're having a hard time forgiving. It's like you're moving on, but did you forgive? It's like you left, but did you forgive? Are you still holding on to that pain in your heart, Leo? If so, I need you to release that and be honest with yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Um, I know that it could be very much embarrassing what happened to you. You might feel embarrassed by what it is that they did to you, right? So that's another thing that could be getting in the way of you forgiving. But this Knight of Pentacles energy is showing up here where I feel like there could this could be tied to an earth sign that you were dealing with, Leo. You might have been dealing with a um, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo energy, but any earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, a grown man um, who is typically about their money, but I feel like they could have just like, put their career before you or it was something that they were doing that was just really like shady like about the way that they make their money or something like that and they could have put you in a situation in a tough situation it's like when somebody goes and robs a bank and then they come back home it's like oh where you get all this money from right it's like child how did you get that money that's the type of energy. It's like, what? Do, how are you making all this money? What are you doing? Because I feel like the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who makes a lot of money, but they might not be doing it the most legal way or the 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 purest way. Also, look, the King of Wands showed up. Yeah, so this is definitely letting me know, Leo. You are in your bag right now. You are focusing on your work. You are trying. You're getting your money up. That's where you're focused at right now. Um, and yes, you might still have to stay strong and keep the smile on your face uh, because you are very inspirational. You are charismatic. I also think of somebody who could be like um, in the spotlight in terms of like acting, like you might be an actor or something like that. And you got to play that role. You got to play the role of your character and not let your emotional life kind of get in the way. Also, the King of Wands is somebody who is very... Um, passionate about what it is that they're doing so i feel like you're very passionate about your work at this point in time and keep staying keep staying that way keep being um spontaneous and active when it comes to your work endeavors because there's going to be an explosion of transformation taking place look stability showed up two cards wanted to come out wow the two fours came out four plus four equals eight i'm seeing eight 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 here angel number eight 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 could be very important to somebody right now if you've been seeing 888 a lot, um, I'm going to tell y'all what that means right now. Angel number 888 is definitely, a, it's a sign of um, abundance. It's just like financial prosperity. That's where you're going right now. I feel like that's the direction that you're heading in. Where it's like, you're just all about your prosperity. You're about your money and moving forward <clears throat> and getting your bread up. But... This four of swords here on top of the death card. That's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody could. It's like, look at this coffin. It's like something could have killed you or made you feel like you were dead. Like, oh my God, it, it really killed you, but it made you into a better person. So you need to rest up and also don't get stuck in this. Um, What is this? This, this place of. Oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's like, oh my God, where it's like, I'm going to just stay to myself type energy. I don't want to open myself up to anybody. Look at this chest. It's like he's holding tightly to his valuables. Like, I feel like you could be holding on to your sense of value, your sense of um self and not wanting to open up again because of what has happened to you. This death, this transformation could have been very challenging for you. It could have been very hard But also, I'm just feeling like right here, you just need to re rest right now throughout this transitional period in your life, Leo, because you're gaining your stability once again. You're regaining stability as you rest, as you take the time to heal, as you take the time to meditate and think about what it is that um, 
you see for yourself coming up in the future. Let's clarify this high priestess for Leos. Okay, Knight of Swords, very fast energy, swift. It's like you're moving into a new phase in your life very fast and you're determined. You're very determined to get it done. You are a quick communicator here, but you want to pay attention to the details. You don't want to be moving so fast that you uh, miss out on important aspects, right? Because this fast energy, this look how fast that night is moving. It's like, be mindful though, because it could be somebody that's trying to come in and offer you a love connection as well. It could be an air sign. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius possibly. Someone who is really youthful. They do have a youthful energy, maybe in their 20s or 30s, maybe 20s, late 20s, early 20s, something like that. Uh, and this is just somebody who is really quick. Like they don't waste any time. They get the job done. They're like uh, chivalrous. So what I mean by that is like they go, they save the day. They are always here ready to rescue and cut off any sort of injustice, anything that's being done wrong, any sort of false communications. The Knight of Swords is very much truthful, especially when it's moving up this way. So I feel like there could be some really strong information coming in for you really quick, really fast. But this truth, this is information that you really need to pay attention to. Because it might, you, I don't know why I just thought like in a blink of an eye, like it's like in a blink of an eye, you might have an idea really quick and then it's gone like here and that. Like, so you got to be really still patient. Okay. So that you could receive this information that's trying to come through though, to get you back to determine again. I feel like you're, you're getting back into this phase of determination where you're swift, where you're able to make a decision. It's not hard for you to stay focused. This is a very focused energy. Um, also, you might be wanting to um, rebel a little bit. I feel like it, this is a bit of a rebellious energy for some people because you're not used to this or people are not used to you being this way. That's what I feel. So they might be thinking like, oh my God, he's a rebel now. Like he don't even want to associate with us no more. Because look, this high priestess is sitting alone once again, but she's doing this not to stay here forever. Like I'm not just going to sit here all my life and just be patient and wait. No, I'm doing this so that I can get refocused again and get the speed or whatever things pick picking back up in my life. Like if I've been having a hard time making a decision in the past, this is a strong confirmation, Leo, that you are going to be making a very wise decision in the future. Lilac showed up. Strengthen your faith. Yes, please have faith in your abilities, please. Oh, chocolate showed up too in reverse. Nourish your mind, body, and soul. So I feel like right now, somebody might, oh, eating some chocolates might do good for your soul. Eating some sort of chocolate, maybe drinking some hot chocolate or something. That might make you feel warm and cozy um, around the bonfire, you know. <laughs> but strengthen your faith, all right? Because God is looking out for you. God got you. Like you got to have faith in yourself to be able to make it through these challenging times. And I feel like this, all, all of this that is happening to you is strengthening your faith. It's making you stronger. The more you push through every day and you realize, wow, it's not that bad. Or the more, um, the more you forgive and you start to feel that relief, you start to have faith and forgiveness. Like, wow, forgiveness is actually a really powerful thing. And not just saying I forgive you and don't mean it. I mean, like literally I'm letting it go because I realized what you did to me led me to get to where I am today. It pushed me to a new version of myself and made me realize something about the people that I was surrounding myself around. Also, chocolate is just here to let you know you need to nourish your body and soul. Um, I don't know why I was just thinking about dark skin people like my beautiful chocolate skin people. Nourish your body and soul, regardless of if you are a brown skin or not, though. Um, this card is just calling you to nourish your body and soul. Also, somebody might be eating a lot of chocolate, so you might want to hold back on the chocolate a little bit or the sweets. Look, Aqua showed up, experience peace and calm. So I feel like you are about to experience major peace and calm. Maybe you might want to soak in the jacuzzi or take a long, nice bath or something like that. That could bring you some peace and calm too. Silver is showing up. Be persistent. Be persistent. And I feel like somebody could be lacking a little bit of persistency. Uh, don't give up on yourself. The silver, uh, look for the silver lining. That's what I just heard from Spirit. Look for the silver lining 
be on the lookout for the silver lining. Stay persistent. Don't give up because it's like right when we want to give up sometimes is right when we're right there. Final card for Leos. And we're going to close out this reading. All right, Lemon. Let's go. Lemon. When life gives you lemons, use them to think innovatively, right? So Lemon is all about accessing innovative thinking, like being creative um, and taking something that's bitter or something that doesn't seem so sweet or so great and making it into something better. Lemon. Wow. Um, why I just think of tea? Like, what's the tea? <laughs> what's the tea? Some Something out here with this high priestess energy, it's like you're about to be having access to higher ideas, like greater awareness. It fell underneath the high priestess and the uh, knight of swords, which are two very um, smart energies. It's like, first of all, any sword card is all about your mental faculties and how you communicate and think and all that stuff like that. So I feel like you're about to be accessing some sort of new ideas really fast, swiftly. You're going to be able to make decisions much better in the future. And you got a lot of innovative ideas that are making their way through to you. So allow flow and synchronicity into your life with the color of coral. I love you guys so much. I'm going to leave this reading here. Peace, love, and prosperity.